The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. South African Airways Technical is seeking to grow its business. Keith Campbell reports. South African Airways Technical, or SAAT, is the aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul subsidiary of the South African Airways Group. SAAT CEO Musizwani explains his organization's strategy. Our strategy is all about growth. But uh, the way we would like to grow this company is uh, through a variety of services and uh, not only on wide body or can I say it on um, major maintenance. We would like to grow our company looking at the various aspects of, uh, of the MRO line maintenance. We are expanding our footprint in, in the African continent. We are now in more than 10 countries on the African continent. As far as uh, engine maintenance, we are currently busy with the uh, Lufthansa technique to be able to do CFM 56-7B engines uh, on, on our premises. And we do think that in the next couple of years, we should be able to capture a sizable market in the African continent. We are also growing uh, our business in areas that we are not uh, uh, doing any maintenance before, lending gear maintenance, overhaul of lending gears. Uh, our aim there is to be able to, to capture as, as wide a market as possible in the African continent, but worldwide, because we do believe that uh, there would be some you know, uh, work that's coming from the Middle East, from India, from uh, the other continents uh, around, around, around the world as far as lending uh, uh, gears are concerned. But also we are looking at uh, um, other areas, uh, uh, as, uh, uh, I think areas such as structures. So we want to grow in a variety of areas and what is important for us is to try and see where we could make uh, the most margins uh, that we would like to grow in those areas, call them niche type uh, uh, businesses. Uh, uh, it's, it's really our aim to target those in a, strategic, in a strategic way. But I think key to this growth that I'm talking about is also forming uh, strategic partnerships with OEMs, with other MROs, uh, uh, with, uh, um, uh, if you, if you, if, if, if shall I say, people that are in uh, uh, in the business of uh, aircraft maintenance. If I can just mention a few, few we've just announced on the 16th, uh, our strategic uh, partnership with uh, AAR in the US. And for us, this is really key, even though we have a, a non-binding MOU with them, but we would like to see if we could leverage on their, uh, you know, uh, smart supply chain processes that we can use on this in, in, our, in our premises here but not only limited to that, also look at other maintenance uh, 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 services uh, that we can, uh, you know, together with them, try and apply, you know, best practices that they've been able to apply over the years. So, so our strategy is really growth through partnerships. Other news making headlines this week, urgent government and business cooperation is needed to end South Africa's crisis. South Africa's rail revitalization ambitions are lauded as more opportunities arise and Gauteng launches an online invoicing system for service providers. The time has come for government and business to find ways and means of working together to end South Africa's current economic stagflation crisis. We must accept that South Africa is a mixed economy and we must make the most of it. All those people who talk about state taking over this, that and the other, it's a pipe dream. Our private sector is large, it is huge, it is important, it does things that the state can't do, 
and on the other hand, the state does things that the private sector will not do, and where large investment is required, there are two entities in this country, and if they don't work together, we will not, we can talk about developmental states, we can talk all about all sorts of language, but if those two entities don't find each other and don't find a way that the one facilitates the other in, in a proper relationship, then I'm afraid South Africa is not going to get out of its current doldrums. Praise is heaped on South Africa's rail revitalization efforts as state-owned Transnet and US-based General Electric develop one of the best localization case studies. The GE and Transnet partnership has become one of the best localization case studies globally. Together with Transnet and our partner, the Mine Workers Investment Company, this partnership has delivered on key priorities of the National Development Plan or Vision 2030. In the area of skills development, our people, both GE and Transnet, have been trained on the locomotive assembly. To date, we have delivered over 150,000 hours of training on both technical and non-technical skills that are essential to capacitizing our most valuable asset, our people. The Gauteng Provincial Administration has launched an online invoicing service to accelerate the invoice processing period and cut the payment time to providers to 30 days in an effort to improve procurement transparency. So today we are launching an electronic invoicing service targeting government suppliers that cuts invoice submission time to provincial government departments from 60 days to under two days. Suppliers can now submit their invoices online and this service is available to anyone who has internet access. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.